have to click. Okay, I'm. Uh, time is running. Okay, good. So I'm Orestes. I'm representing political data science on our work on bias and word embeddings. A lot of groups already presented their works on the field. Uh, we are going to give our own perspectives and our own contribution on the discourse. What are word embeddings? They are NLP techniques that map uh, uh, words to vectors of real numbers that uh, preserve uh, a semantic and syntactic properties of language. And why do we care? We care because these word embeddings are integrated in a lot of models. On the one hand, they are trained on freely accessible corpora. And on the other hand, the models trained with word embeddings are used for tasks like translation, uh, search, um, uh, question answering, text mining, and so on. And why do we care in FATSTAR about it? Well, word embeddings suffer from pre-existing bias. That means if by the text they are trained on have specific biases, these biases are imprinted in text. Uh, and our group wanted to investigate further on that, so we posed following questions. How can we evaluate the diffusion of that bias in further machine learning models, as well as if we can use that bias um, to trace new bias uh, uh, in new data? Okay, so what we did, we developed two uh, embeddings vectors data sets, one trained on German Wikipedia and one in, trained on 24 million uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, comments. Um, and uh, we wanted to, to trace biases related to social discrimination. What is social discrimination? Social discrimination is imprinted in language through statements of stereotypes and prejudice uh, in text. And we search for biases related to sexism, xenophobia, and homophobia. We, we note that uh, gender and sexuality are spectra, but here we only looked at men and women and homosexuality and heterosexuality. What we did is we, we extended existing methods for stereotype detection for gendered languages, as well as we developed a dictionary-based method for evaluating prejudice in the embeddings. And what we did we found? So we found a lot of bias in word embeddings, a lot. So what does that mean? We found serious amount of prejudice in both word embedding data set related to uh, homophobia and xenophobia. Uh, and we found that in, the, in sexist prejudice, Wikipedia uh, had prejudice against women and vectors on social media data against men. Okay, how do we evaluate this asymmetry? And we used the critical discourse analysis to do that. So we, we tried to think and reflect on the sociopolitical conditions that lead to the emergence of text and its meaning. So Wikipedia is a text is primarily created by men and also has articles about that describe the historical asymmetries existing in the society. So we have a prejudice against women. Now, social media data don't have an asymmetry of users. It's equally balanced men and women using the, uh, the platforms. Second, uh, the data are political, and the political discourse has a very negative sentiment, and most politicians are men. So, and third, uh, in German, when you want to say general sen uh, sentences of negative feeling, you use uh, very often uh, the, the male plural. For that reason, that bias is depicted in the embeddings as a prejudice against men. Now you can see also there are intensive stereotypes and word associations for the different groups. Uh, also, very sentiment-laden words that are uh, extremely associated to the various social groups. Okay, now we, we see that different data lead to different biases, and we want to investigate if this bias is diffused to algorithms trained on the embeddings. So we do something really simple. We create a sentiment predictor model that takes as input an embedding and gives a sentiment score. Uh, and then we collect uh, uh, sets of uh, frequent names for different ethnicities and social groups, and we put them in the model and get sentiment scores. And you can see that the, for the, um, uh, in, the, in the case in ethnic names, the model <laughs> predicts much more higher um, rating uh, sentiment score for German names, uh, a, pre a prejudice and a symmetry that complies with the bias in the embeddings. We traced also biases related to male and female names, and again, the, 
uh, according to the data sets and what the, uh, the models predicted, the biases were equal to that of the embeddings. So we proved that biases in the embeddings are diffused to the models they use them, which is a big problem, of course. Okay. So now we say, how can we mitigate it? So in NLP, there is a traditional technique by Boluk Baxi et al. to mitigate bias in the embeddings. And we use that and one that we developed that it exploits properties of the support vector machine classifier. What we found out is that both methods decrease bias. At the first method, it decreases bias, but it does not remove it. And actually, it distorts it. Other ethnicities will have more positive scores. In contrary, the second method totally eliminated biases. What does it mean? It doesn't mean we have some embeddings, we'll apply the technique and we say, okay, now bias is away, we don't care anymore, because we don't know how we changed the embeddings and what we did there in the model. We insert a new bias. So it's really important to see what the model does, the final model, and think of techniques of how to mitigate these biases according to that model. And now, we wanted to see if we can use bias in word embeddings to predict the same bias in new uh, data. So what we did is we created a sexism data set uh, that we classified 100,000, almost 100,000 Facebook comments to sexist or not sexist according to specific uh, classes of sexism uh, as defined by social theories. And we created deep neural models that take the embeddings and try to predict if a comment is sexist or not. And what we found out is the similar the bias in the word embeddings we used, the better the model, uh, the, more e the easier it was for the model to detect new bi the bias in new data. So what are the takeaways? So on the one hand, word embeddings are important for improving uh, the accuracy of models. Complicated neural techniques, they have integrated them in their structure. It's a, they are also a very interesting and simple way to assess text and the social world and to understand it. On the other hand, though, uh, science has uh, only limited investigated how to mitigate biases resulted by word embeddings on further model. And it is an open task to see how we can uh, mitigate it, regulate it, and ensure fair algorithmic implementations. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>